To all those with a special love for the Wilson Davis documents, you may not want to watch this any further. This video will definitely trigger you. Personally, I think the Wilson Davis documents are total bollocks and not worth any serious time, especially considering one half categorically denies any of this ever happened. But with all the hubbub about these documents, I wanted to break down a discussion about the Wilson Davis documents between award-winning journalist Ross Coulthart and content creator and Wilson Davis believer Jay from Project Unity. Link for the entire interview is in the description below. Here we go. The implications of the Admiral Wilson document are that there is a an apparent transcript or at least a memo that records an alleged conversation between astrophysicist Dr. Eric Davis and Admiral Tom Wilson in, I think, 2002, ironically, in a car park outside the offices of EG&G, the notorious Area 51 logistics firm in Las Vegas. And it should be emphasized right from the head that Admiral Tom Wilson, the former director of the Defense Intelligence Agency, categorically denies that any such conversation took place or that he has ever made any such statements. So, with that in mind, let's proceed to what the document actually says. Why? Why would you do that? What, what, what is the matter with you people? The document purports to be a record, a very detailed record of a conversation that took place between Davis and Wilson, where Wilson basically described the efforts that he had made to try to investigate claims that were put to him by Dr. Dr. Stephen Rear. When we landed on the moon, there was a, around that crater above where we landed, uh, there were multiple ET craft that were just hovering there watching. Yo, and that uh, is true. That's 100% true. In a meeting in 1997, where Greer basically revealed to him, allegedly, code names that he was not familiar with, that when he investigated those code names inside the Pentagon, Admiral Tom Wilson reportedly discovered a covert, hidden UFO, UAP crash retrieval program that was concealed inside very secure secret special access programs uh, that were hidden in a specific part of an office inside the Pentagon. Yo, and that uh, is true. That's 100% that, true. And what it described essentially was that the United States had allegedly recovered craft, alien technology, and that moreover, that alien technology had been deliberately withheld from the purview of Congress and various oversight bodies. Yo, and that uh, is true. That, That's 100% that, true. By concealing it inside private aerospace, inside a private aerospace company. And what the document purported to record was Admiral Wilson's frustrations at when he discovered the existence of this project, the obdurate resistance by that private aerospace company in allowing him to find out anything about the program, his eventual discovery and admissions from the aerospace company that yes, they did have alien technology, that it was concealed and that he was not to talk about it. And moreover, that he was told to shut up about it by his superiors in the Defense Intelligence Agency. Now, it's one hell of a conspiracy. Now, it's one hell of a conspiracy. Now, it's one hell of a conspiracy. <laughs> what? I've never known quite what to make of the Admiral Wilson document because, um, you know, there are some people who say, including Admiral Wilson, that it's a hoax, that it's not true, that it doesn't record accurate events. Categorically denies that any such conversation took place or that he has ever made any such statements. Um but one thing I'm very, very sure of is that the provenance of the document is very clear in my book. I know for a fact that it came from the estate of Dr. Edgar Mitchell, the Apollo 14 lunar module pilot, and that Edgar Mitchell was probably sent it by either Eric Davis or Dr. Hal Putoff shortly after the conversation allegedly occurred. Yo, and that uh, is on, true. That's 100% on, true. And what interested me in the interview that I did with Professor Gary Nolan a few weeks ago is when I asked Gary Nolan about the Admiral Wilson document, it was very much in the context of the, the general claim pushed indeed in part by people like Lou Elizondo, the former head of the Pentagon's UFO program, there was retrieved technology of some kind, or as you, as Lou refers to it, exotic material. Other people have been more frank. But basically, in the context of that conversation, I then went for it. I don't know, I just woke up from a little nap. It's a little dark, but 
You guys silly? I'm still going to send it. <laughs> Decided to ask Professor Gary Nolan, um, does he know anything about the Admiral Wilson document? And he said, yes. I asked him, does he think it's genuine? And he said, yes. Uh, he said, I know Eric Davis. And Eric is of a kind of character. It's impossible for him to lie. It's impossible for him to lie. It's impossible for him to lie. <laughs> I mean, I know Eric Davis and, um, you know, Eric is uh, of a kind of character that it's just impossible for him to lie. Dr. Eric Davis tells you something, then he's, he's not lying to you. Um, in fact, if you've ever met Dr. Davis, um, you'll realize he has an interesting little personality uh, characteristic that, that it, it prevents him from, from lying. So I'm not going to elaborate on what uh, Eric Davis uh, thinks or, or says or knows. Uh, he's his own man. Um, I can tell you that when he tells you something, he, he, he tells you the truth. Um, he has no motivation other than the truth. ATIP never ended. Nope. It's still going on today. Yep. Who runs but it? Not in that name. <laughs> oh, they changed the name? Change names, change location, change leadership. One minute later. It, it isn't likely to change locations for any reason. It isn't likely to change locations for any reason. It isn't likely to change locations for any reason. It's impossible for him to lie. It's impossible for him to lie. It's impossible for him to lie. What the hell are you talking about? And then I explain the significance of that document, which is that Tom Wilson, the Admiral, allegedly had a conversation with Eric Davis where he imparted his discovery that was allegedly a secret UFO reverse engineering program going on inside either the US government or private corporate aerospace where they were hiding, allegedly, a recovered spacecraft. It was being hidden supposedly inside private aerospace, according to the memo, in a private aerospace corporation. Yo, and that uh, is true. That's 100%. Oh. And I put it to Gary. I said, look, Gary, the journo in me, the journalist in me thinks it's highly implausible for the simple fact that in America, everything leaks. You know, it's impossible to keep a secret like that. And Gary went, well, this is an example of it leaking. Everything leaks in this country. And this is an example of it. Okay. So you take that point. Yeah. Ultimately, it did leak. It ultimately, it leaked. And, uh, you know, he made the point that, yes, the memo had eventually come to public awareness. And I, I, I said, OK, but but how sure are you of the provenance of the memo? I mean... And, and what the implications are of what's inside it. And he basically told me that he's known about the memo for many, many years before it even became public. And he's aware of the conversations. And without naming names, he satisfied himself that he believes that it's a genuine document and that it records an, an accurate account of events. <laughs> Without naming names, he satisfied himself that he believes that it's a genuine document and that it records an, an accurate account of events. And um, he said to me, crucially, I might say to my colleagues out there, I know this all sounds completely crazy, absolutely crazy, but if you've seen the things that I've seen, you would only be able to come to a similar conclusion. Wow. Yo, and that uh, is true. That's 100% that, true. I know, again, my reputation takes a hit. I'm sure there are prizes and other things that I'm never going to get because I'm talking about this. And believe me, I know for a fact, this is independent of any conversation I've had with Gary, I know for a fact that those hearings are going to very soon start on the Hill and they are going to be momentous. Momentous is a big word. Is there anything you can mm. expand on there, or is that is that all we get? No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Why would Eric Davis lie about writing something that he never intended to go public in the first place? I, who cares?